Hey, South Durham Little League coaches. I've gotten a few requests for uh, a bit of training on how to use the Blue Flame pitching machine. Because if you're uh, if you're new to it and you've never used it before, there's a little bit of a uh, little bit of an art to it, and it can be kind of tricky. But once you get the hang of it, it's pretty simple. So first thing you need to do is check the settings for your league. Our rookie and single A divisions use a slightly different settings. Uh, single A is a little faster. So the first thing to check the power pedal that controls the speed of the pitch down there at the bottom. The so pin you can pull out, I've got it currently set at five, which is our setting for rookie. The next is the release arm, this part here in the back. The release arm for a rookie is set at three. That controls the angle of the pitch. So if you, uh, you can change it, make it go higher or lower if you're using it for something other than pitching. But for this setting, three is uh, our proper spot. The micro adjustment over here, that is set to four and that controls the height of the pitch. So you can raise and lower it. Um, if you happen to be on a field that has maybe a large, like perhaps Herndon, if the mound is built up, you have a bit of a mound behind you, that'll change the angle. It's possible you will have to use a different setting on the micro adjustment to get your, your ball to throw, uh, to get the machine to throw strikes during your games. And that's fine. That doesn't impact the speed or angle that it comes at. It just changes the height that the ball gets there. So you might be able to throw more strikes. Now on how to use the machine. Well, let's see. First thing, how to move it. Whenever you're carrying the machine, always carry it by this piece here or the bottom. So this is the large bar part coming up in the middle. That is solid. Do not carry it by the handle up here, even though it's tempting because it is a handle. That part, if you carry by that, you will break the seam down here. The machine will no longer work. Same with here. Don't carry by this part. Don't carry by this. And since kids never listen to these things, don't have a kid carry the machine. They're probably gonna hurt themselves or, probably, or very likely break the machine. All right, now, how to use this guy. When you get to a game, before the game, or if you're gonna set up the machine for batting practice, first thing you wanna do, line it up, pointed towards home plate as best you can, step it into the ground, all right? So you push these into the ground. If you're on a field with very dry dirt, which we may have at some point, um, you might need a hammer or maybe jump on it, do something, put a little more pressure on it to get those spikes to go in the ground on my soft grass right here, it's quite easy. Uh, next thing you need to do, come back here. You can look at this angle here. The, this, the bottom piece should be, you can have a little bit of give even once it's in the ground. You want that as, as directly towards home plate as possible. Now you're ready to start seeing if this thing is throwing strikes. You can start fine tuning it. So first thing you do, pull back, pull back on this handle. It's gonna be a little hard to show in the camera but with your other hand, pull down there. You see what I did? pulled that piece down underneath the block. Then to make sure you're lined up correctly, see how I kind of missed it here? This part is a little overhang and if you see on the other side, the other side is not, it doesn't get to the edge. You wanna start by centering this up. So you just pull here, get that centered. You wanna do that every pitch. Little tiny things on this machine will make the difference between throwing strikes and not. So you want everything to be consistent. Now, this is now the micro adjustment right here. I set this kind of in the middle, so you notice it screws in and out. It can go down and it can go up and go either direction. Start in the middle, set the ball on. You want to set the ball. If you notice the way I set the seams, that is not a coincidence. You want to set the seams with the middle of the baseball right there on the knob. Set it the same every time. Believe it or not, the angle of the seams makes a big difference in how you throw strikes. Now, to actually use the machine, I'm not going to do it at the moment here, but you step down on the pedal all the way down. Don't have it part way. Don't have your foot up in the air. Push it all the way to the bottom and your foot will sit on the back of the machine back there. And then pull the handle. You just pull it all the way back and it'll launch. All right. Now, see where that goes. If it's a little too high, this is when the micro adjust comes in. So right under here, you can take this little, this little thing here. If you need to make it lower, lower is that way, indicated on the machine, so you screw it in. If you need it to be higher, go that way. And just try until you get about two or three strikes in a row. Um, usually helps to have a few balls while you're uh, calibrating the machine, it goes a lot faster. Definitely helps if you have another coach at catcher to be able to catch them, throw them back to you. The first few are always gonna be balls until you get honed in. Once you have it honed in, it should be pretty consistent. Now, when you get into a game and you're really looking to try and throw strikes consistently, you might need to get have some a little low, some you get your taller kids, you want to throw them a little higher. You shouldn't, if you have this thing geared in, so it's throwing strikes down the middle, you shouldn't actually need to move the knob. 
trick here that I learned after many years of working, uh, working these machines. If that is a strike right down the middle of the plate, belt high for a certain kid, you get a taller kid and you want to throw the ball higher. If you just rotate the ball, that will make it go higher. That's middle again, just as a reminder. Roll it that way and it will go low. It's, it's amazing that it makes that, that much of a difference, but if I have this set properly, that ball will probably hit right behind the plate and that ball will probably be way up at the top of the strike zone. So the way you place the ball on there makes a big difference. Um, it'll vary a little bit from ball to ball. So as, you, as you're using multiple balls during a game, you'll get a little bit of a variety there. But if you keep the same placement, same setup each time, always check this every pull, make sure that's set up or you're gonna throw one way inside or way outside. Uh, if you follow these, these little tips, you'll be able to throw a lot of strikes. Your kids will have more fun. Your team will have a lot more success. So hope this was helpful. Thank you guys.